Hey guys, c Wav here. Today, we're making these mega neato earrings for my niece for her birthday. Stick around and I'm gonna show you how I did it. As you can see today, I'm working with my longtime best friend, Yancey. Hello. In his workshop. Let's get to it. All right, you're gonna start off with whatever hardwoods that you choose and using the table saw, you're gonna rip it down into narrow little strips and then cut them to your desired length. Um, I didn't even measure mine, I just eyeballed them. So it's totally freehand. All right, as you can see, I've got my pieces cut down. We're using different hardwoods. This is Winge, this is Purple Heart, this is Paduke, this is White Oak, and this is Red Oak. I'm gonna go ahead and shape them and get them ready to, for the mount. All right, so after having done a couple of these freehand, it's painfully obvious that I need some sort of guide. So I'm gonna use a nickel and started marking my boards. And hopefully when I get done, this will make them look a little more uniform. Using the nickel as a guide was a great idea. And if you're gonna do this project, I highly recommend it. For the next part, the sanding and shaping, you are definitely gonna need your PPE. Uh, including dust mask, goggles, and earplugs at a minimum. Got them all cut out and shaped, and I think they turned out fantastic. At first, I started drilling them three at a time, and I didn't like that very much at all, so then I moved to drilling them one at a time, each piece individually. And I think in the end, that gave me a whole lot better results. I would definitely recommend one at a time instead of, instead of the whole stack at once. Each earring has three pieces which are attached to a hoop, which is then attached to another little baby hoop, which is then attached to the piece that actually goes through your ear. Hopefully this will let them swing around a little bit. I made six sets of three identical earrings each. Uh, hopefully this will offer some flexibility in case one breaks, it's easily replaced or um, if the colors want to be changed, um, that is also easily a possibility too. All right guys, I'm all finished up here. It's a fairly simple project if you have the resources available. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to look at my videos. I'll see you soon.